Your activity score is made up of two different components, a marker of low intensity activity, which is steps, and a marker of higher intensity physical activity, which of course is exercise. So how do you track steps? Well, it's hard to know how many steps you've taken unless you have a step, a step tracker. And we synchronize with a variety of different step tracking devices like uh, Fitbit products and also the Moves app. Now, if you don't have a Fitbit currently, I recommend that you download a Moves app uh, onto your mobile device. It works for both Apple and Android, and it operates in the background to collect steps as you carry your phone with you across the day. I think the app is less than $3, perhaps less than 2 so it's a very low uh, commitment in order to start doing step counting right away. So if you're new to dance plan and you're not doing step counting, I would do this first. Okay, now, how do you set it up so that you can take that data and you can pull it in and have your dance plan charts updated? Well, you go to Sync Apps and Devices and you would go to the Moves App Counter. Now, I, mine is already synchronized. But when you do this for the first time, you'll go through an authorization process. It's very simple, and we have a wizard that will walk you through it. And once you have integrated with Moves app, it'll pull the data from the app, and it'll populate your dance plan charts. I actually have both a Fitbit and Moves app synchronized, and you can do that. So we have it set so that it takes the highest total from either of those two devices for the day. And that way, if you, even if you do wear a Fitbit, if you forget it or it runs out of battery, then you've got a good, reliable backup. And if you don't have a Fitbit, then the Moves app is a great way to get started. For exercise, we have, and actually I'll mention one other thing, if you are using a different type of step counter, you can always collect steps another way and then enter them manually for the day. So what you'll do is you'll just select the right day that you have information on, enter your steps, and hit submit, and you're all set. Now, this is where you will enter exercise. You can't find this anywhere else. This is proprietary to dance plan, and uh, I think it is a very novel, unique, and effective way to measure the amount of physical activity or exercise that you're getting into your week. So the Department of Health and Human Services puts out guidelines for the amount of physical activity that we should aim for in order to provide significant stimulation to our health from physical activity. What we did is we took those numbers and we put them into a formula so that the idea is your goal is to try to maintain a score of 100% or greater at all times. And the way that this score works is it's always looking at your last seven days of activity. All right. Now, if you look here, the dotted line is actually when I did exercise in the week. All right. So I had a day of a small day of exercise here, none here, and then a bigger day of exercise here. So the exercise score is summarizing the last seven days into one total. All right. Now, I'll go back a second and I'll look at steps. So steps are the solid bars, and you actually do have a daily step goal. So you don't have a daily exercise goal. You have a weekly exercise goal, and that can look many different ways. But you do have a daily step goal. So the days that I'm green mean that I was at or above my goal for the day, which is 10,000 steps. And the days that are gray, and as you can scroll over, you can see what I had for that particular day. So yesterday... I was below 90% of my goal, and so the bar is grayed out. Okay, now how, let's go back to exercise. How do I enter it? Exercise is entered on a self-rated perceived exertion scale of 1 to 10. So if 1 to 5 or 1 to 4 is considered non-exercise activity, so those would be things like standing and walking, you're not going to measure, you're not going to consider that as exercise, and our marker for that low intensity activity is steps, and that's why we track steps separately. Exercise is anything that you would rate from a 5 to a 10 on that scale, where 5 is a light jog and a 10 is a maximal all out 
sprint, or lifting weight for failure. Now you can track either minutes or sets. So if you go for a 20 minute jog, you would put 20 minutes in the category and hit enter. All right. Let's say I did 20 minute jog in the morning and then I did a 20 minute jog later in the afternoon, I could just add on 20, another 20 minutes on what I put in this morning. So I would put in 40 and I would hit submit and that score would add on top of it before. So you see it went from 20 to 40. Okay. So the categories are moderate, strenuous, and aggressive. So moderate is anything between a five or a six. Strenuous is a seven or an eight. And aggressive is a nine or a 10 on that effort scale. All right. So if I, now this is 20 minute jogs, but let's say I was doing sets of weightlifting like push-ups. And in fact, that's what I did today. I did three sets of push-ups to almost where I couldn't do another one. So I was close to failure. And every time I did a set, I would just put another one down. So I put a four, do another set right now, let's put a four in, and that's to my score. And let's say later, two hours from now, I do another set, I would just put a five, right? You just keep on adding on top of what you had put previously. Now I have a separate video on Intune training, but it works really seamlessly with our activity tracker. So as you do sets of strength and conditioning in the form of Intune training, you can just add those accordingly to how the effort that you've put in. So if you do a sub-maximal set, put it in the right category. If it's a max effort set or close to it, put it in the right in, into aggressive. Now you get different amounts of credit for the different categories. So for example, one minute or one set in moderate is not gonna equal the same as one set or one minute in aggressive, All right? So you basically get more uh, credit towards your total by uh, doing in the aggressive category. Um, but that's not to say that that's necessarily better. The idea is just to, whatever you do, mark it down in the appropriate category, we'll translate it for you. And here you can see now, if I scroll over that bar, I have my moderate was 40 minutes, strenuous, didn't put anything in that category, and aggressive is five. Now, the reality is that's not what I did today. I was using that to show you as an example. So let me go back and change my scores. I'll put a zero here and then a three here because that's where I was. And I'll hit submit and it'll take me back to where I was. Great. So you get 50% of your credit towards your activity score from steps, meeting your daily step goal. And you get 50% of, of your activity score from meeting your weekly exercise uh, goal, and that's why you want to keep you know your score somewhere above a hundred percent. So this is one of the most useful parts of the site in my mind. I come back on a daily basis. I look at what the Intune training is, and then as I do exercise across the day, I enter my my love my cat my numbers in this scale, and I get a lot of really valuable feedback. So that's an overview of the Dance Plan Activity Score and I hope you enjoy it.